I was here one time when it happened in a historic way. They had called me to be the evangelist for a campus revival. And we were having a pretty good meeting. And uh, on a Friday night, the pastor of college church and I were sitting in his office and uh, talking a bit. And the usher brought to the door just before service time two young men from Asbury College. And we didn't know them, but they said, we've come to ask permission to take a couple of minutes in your service and tell the students here what God is doing in a spontaneous revival that has broken out on the campus of our college. We won't take long. We'd appreciate the opportunity. Well, the pastor looked at me and I looked at him. We, we didn't know the boys, but we just felt somehow in our heart it was the right thing to do. So that's what we did. About midway through the service, the pastor introduced them. They got up. They, they didn't take more than three, two or three or four minutes just sharing what God was doing in the life of their campus. How suddenly in a chapel service, people got up and just started coming to the altar, flooding the altar. And then this went on for days. People confessing, people seeking forgiveness. It was a Holy Ghost explosion. You talk about a revival, it was an explosion on that campus. And kids from that school went all over the country, sharing at other schools, universities, what God was doing there. And uh, it was a beautiful moment in this life of that service. They sat down, quartet came to sing, about midway through the quartet song, you could just feel it. You could just feel it. Something was about to happen. And soon, students started getting up out of their pews and coming to the altar. They came in waves. They came by the score. And they would pray through and go back and be seated and others would come. I saw one redheaded lad walking back and forth between the altar and the platform, waving his handkerchief and crying and uh, seeking God. And I, I recognized him. A couple of days before that, uh, one of the professors had had me in their cl class as a guest and was giving the students opportunity to ask questions. Always a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> and this young fellow said, uh, uh, Brother Cunningham, it appears to me from your preaching <laughs> that you still believe in old time religion. Would that be true? I said, well, if you mean that I believe in people being born again, having their lives transformed, being sanctified holy, called to preach, called to uh, so forth and so on. I guess you'd say, yes, I do. He said, eh, I thought so. <laughs> here he was that night, back and forth, down here in the midst of all this old-fashioned religion, waving his hand, <laughs> praising God. At an appropriate time, I slipped out down to him and by his side, and I said, well, my, my friend, it looks like God's doing something good in your life tonight. And he said, oh, Brother Cunningham, and he's crying. He says, he may be here today. He may be a district superintendent now. I don't know. <laughs> he said, Brother Cunningham, I want to apologize to you. I'm so sorry. I was so cynical the other day in class. He said, it's just the way I've been. But he said, something happened to me tonight. I came just to kind of make fun of what was going on here tonight. Sat up in the last row of the balcony. And when all this started, all of a sudden there was like a wind I'm telling you, it was a wind. I could feel the wind. And I thought, this is the wind of the Spirit. And God spoke to my young heart and said, Son, you need to get down those stairs and get to that all right now and get your life straightened out with God. He said, I had the feeling all of a sudden that might be the last chance I ever had to do that. And I got down, down here and God has wonderfully changed me and turned me around tonight. And I want to be at my best for him. It's called revival. You never know when they're going to break out, but you're sure sad if you happen to miss it. And the students from Olivet then, over the weekend, went to home churches. Chapel services here went on for hours and days. 
I went back to the Kansas City area where I pastored, and they were uh, asking me at the seminary to come and tell the seminary students what had happened. I did. Right in the middle of my explanation of what happened, the president of the student body got up weeping and came and collapsed at the altar, and others did the same thing. It's just the way it was. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Revival, we believe in them, we need them. These students went to their home churches, shared what God was doing, and revival was breaking out in the churches where they went all over the country. It was a wonderful experience for all of us, and I thank God that he gave me the privilege of being there when he decided to do something so marvelous. That's why we say the chapel is the heart of the campus.